everyone, I'm back. Um, I think I got the mount fixed. Um, I don't know what happened there. It just suddenly shut off on its own. Maybe the power's low, I haven't checked. I'll check the power. Maybe that's what's going on. Anyways, uh, we're still here at Metro. Uh, not still here, just getting ready to pull into Metro. So I'll be shutting you guys down anyways. But I didn't realize I might be low on power. Oh, look at this, the perfect spot, the perfect spot. Ah, I can get it before anybody else, yes. Yes. Okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna find out what's wrong with this phone. Hey everyone, well I'm back. Metro went pretty well. The prices there weren't too bad. I'm actually quite surprised. Uh, but they've always been like that. When the Brownleys owned it, it was, uh, they didn't really raise their prices during tourist season. That's only the independent here in Perth. And the owners that are there today do that and the owners uh, that did that before, they're just, you know, low lives preying on uh, the tourists, which is fine from where I sit, but it affects us that live here year round and we support the year, store year round and they don't do anything for us. And I've said for years and I'll say it again, they should make a goddamn discount card for locals. Show your license, your ID, wherever you live. You tell them that you live here year round, you want the discount card and then that's it. So then, you know what? Knock yourselves out. Charge the tourists double price for all I fucking care. But at least uh, don't lay everything on us and support you all year round. So it's just not fair. I mean, that's on top of the stuff that's already going on with these gangsters. So. Someday everybody's going to rise up and put a stop to this shit. People are going to wake up eventually. Probably when we hit the next next Great Depression, maybe. But someone's got to give, and these corporations literally need to be burned to the ground. I don't mean their buildings or anything like that. I'm just meaning their whole business model. Burn it to the ground. Get the government to put all kinds of regulations in. As much as I hate the government sticking their nose in anything. Um... Something's got to give, because these people are running ramshot over everybody. And if they're going to act like gangsters, well, then maybe they should do time like gangsters. Okay, everyone, I'm not going to bring you in. Well, I don't bring you guys into the store anyway. I'm just going to leave you up there, but I'll turn the film off. Oh, hey, everyone, I'm back. Yeah, I got my mother everything she needed, so that's good. We're uh, hitting pretty good here today. Although, if I bought my peanut butter here, I would have saved $2 a jar. Come on, bloody, come on! <clears throat> Jesus! You not know how to drive? We got a green and he's sitting. He doesn't even go into the medium, you know, in the middle part like you're supposed to. God, people are stupid. Yeah, digger. Truck driver all my life. You just get pissed off at all the stupidity. Anyway, I'm going to the enemy. Independent grocer. Doesn't look that busy for a CPP morning. Hmm. The Ram ahead of me is a nice color. I don't usually do this way, but this is easier for me. Come on, Mr. Fancy Pants. The 
fuck out of my way. Guy 100 years old and he's driving a child's car. I think they call that middle age crazy or something. Cloud Nine Bakery. I love the sound of that. Okay, well, I got to bring you guys in with me here. I mean, not filming, but I need the bone. Okay, talk to you after. Yeah, I'm eating a chocolate bar because I need sugar. Mm. Well, hey, everyone, I'm back. What a circle jerk in town, man. So I pulled in the giant tiger park a lot here in Perth. First, I see a guy walking his dog. Oh, that's nice. And then the dog shits in the middle of the parking lot in front or beside a lady's car that where she has to get in. You know what I'm saying? Like to get in. I look over at him. He looks over at me. He suddenly starts scratching around for a bag like he's pretending he has a bag. He knows he doesn't have a fucking bag. And, uh, well, he just leaves the shit there. Then I have a lady who cuts me off in the parking lot and gives me shit. And I'm like, okay, fucktard. And then I go in the giant tiger, and I'm like, I turn around and walk right back out. There's a lineup from the cash all the way around. I mean, it's unbelievable. There must have been 50 people in the lineup. And I'm going, these people are charging us, even giant tigers, all charging us more money, but they're not hiring staff. Today is CPP day and ODSB day. That's for people on pension and disability pensions and old age pension. You would think you would think that they would put on extra staff for these days that the people are in, especially during tourist season. Anyways, uh, Giant Tiger, yeah, that really sucks. You know, we go there for discount, but when you can't even buy anything in there because you don't want to stand in a lineup of 50 people, there's two cashiers, one dealing with the cigarettes and lottery and one uh, the other one. There's places for one, two, three, four other cashiers they could have put on there. But no, they don't. And then we're expected to sit there like sheep and just put up with that shit. No, I'm not. Fuck that. So, you know, it'll be just more stuff I end up ordering from Amazon and these people will just get less money. They're, they're, they're doing themselves in. They don't even realize it. They're like, uh, they're like people who uh, are addicted to something. They don't know what they're doing to themselves once they're past an addiction state. I mean, they do, but I mean, they don't. They just blindly... You know what I'm saying? Like, ignore all that? It's sick. Anyways, no point in getting all freaked out and bent out of shape. I mean, I've got good news with the bus, at least. We hope there's good news with the uh, with the uh, thing I told you about there, the ICP valve or whatever it's called. Um, so hopefully that'll be good news. I just spoke to Mark, although I'm not happy there. Um, he originally told me 500 a week he was going to raise me on the 29th. Now I'm getting a uh, song and dance. And uh, so now it's, well, maybe 400. Well, maybe you won't have me around much longer. Sorry, Mark, if you ever hear this. But uh, that's not living up to your word. And I've been telling everybody you live up to your word. So I've been telling everybody, uh, you know, it's not like I imagined it. After he told me that, the first person I told was Anna. I told True. So it's not bullshit. And I didn't imagine it. And it's not like some memory issue with me. So I don't like getting bullshit around like that. Well, when business gets busier. Well, business is busier. You told me that yourself. So, anyways. I forgot to pick up flyers and possibly signs. I'm going to have to uh, get myself turned around here. And uh, well, I'm definitely not going up this road. The guy's spreading uh, calcium here. So I'm going to dirty 
my truck just for their bullshit. I, I don't understand, eh? They must pay a lot of extra money taxes here because none of these roads are done like this around us, but it's the same county. Anyways, I'll uh, be back. Wind